So Shopify is cracking down on development stores. Uh, that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. Uh, I got an email earlier today. Uh, Shopify is updating their terms for uh, their APIs as well as the Shopify partner program. So. Uh, for any of you guys who are not Shopify partners, Shopify partnership is the affiliate program. There's actually kind of a lot of different aspects of the Shopify uh, partner program. Uh, you can be an affiliate. Uh, Shopify offers some free courses so that you can become a Shopify expert. Um, I'm not really sure what that entails. I've been meaning to kind of go through them myself. Um, but basically, I, I think if you go through these courses, you can kind of be a, become a Shopify approved uh, expert. Um, and also it's just kind of, you know, bragging rights or something to, to kind of advertise to clients, kind of same way that you can become a, you know, Google certified, um, AdWords certified, et cetera. So, um, you know, that's part of it is you can become a Shopify expert. You can kind of get the Shopify accreditation. Um, that's what they run the affiliate program through. If you want to develop Shopify themes, uh, you would need to be a, a Shopify partner to upload your themes and sell your themes. If you want to develop Shopify apps and sell Shopify apps, uh, same thing, you need to be a, a Shopify partner. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you can do through there. Um, and then also they have the, uh, uh, the Shopify development stores. And, and the idea behind Shopify development stores is if I'm a web designer, if I'm designing websites for clients, um, you know, I, I can set up stores in development um, and then kind of once they're ready to go, I can create a, a, an extra staff account and I can kind of pass that along to my clients. So um, I actually use that for, for some people that I work with. I also use it just for kind of stores that I dabble with. So uh, this change that's going on uh, previously, um, it was actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you want to say it was being abused because people were kind of using it what it was intended for. Uh, but Shopify development stores, you're able to do 50 transactions uh, before that store has to sign up for a $29 Shopify plan. So I know one of the frustrations of a lot of people like Shopify is definitely a low barrier to entry way to start a business. Um, and, and so it attracts a lot of people who are kind of really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, really trying to start on a shoestring budget and, and people who $29 is, is, you know, kind of a lot of money. Um, or, or, you know, aren't will necessarily willing to shell out 29 bucks um, if they're not making money. So one of the cool things with a Shopify development store is you could set up stores and basically you could get 50 sales. By the time you get 50 sales, I would say the concept is proven. So, you know, it's, it's worthwhile to pay that $29 because if, you, if you've made 50 sales, you should be able to, to make at least enough sales to, to pay for your Shopify fees. Um, and so, you know, rather than starting a store and not knowing if it's going to succeed or fail and it takes you six months to get it going and you, you've spent $29 times six months, what's that, like 180 bucks or whatever, um, you know, you can set up all these stores in development, see if they work out, if they don't work out, whatever, abandon them, close them. Um, if they do work out, continue to scale it or flip it on the, the Shopify exchange. Um, and so basically what Shopify is saying now in this email um, they're saying, you know, Shopify uh, development stores are not meant for you to avoid paying us $29. It's not meant for you to get a free Shopify plan. It's intended to do test transactions. So um, I'm not sure exactly what that means for the future going forward. They, they were very vague in, in the email. Um, they then linked you forward to, uh, you know, the, the page on Shopify with the uh, API and Shopify uh, partner uh, terms. Um, and I opened it up on my phone and, you know, it's like 70 pages of just like flipping through. So, uh, I tried scrolling around. There's so much stuff to read. Uh, I was trying to find that, that line about Shopify development stores because what I wanted to do, I, wa I wanted to kind of read further in depth and like, are they going to turn the development stores into kind of just a, a sandbox type program where you can only do test transactions and you can't take real transactions? Um, are they going to start closing down accounts of people who they, who they, feel are kind of abusing the, the concept of the Shopify development stores. Um, I wasn't really able to see any info. I'm uh, heading home right now. Um, so as soon as I get in front of a computer, I'm going to try to open that page up and, and do a control F. Um, and, you know, rather than trying to like read 70 pages, see if I can just kind of find that, uh, uh, find that part and kind of jump on down to it. Um, and if I do, if I find some verbiage or whatever, I will go ahead. I'll probably post this video before I do that. So uh, if I do find any more info, I'll, I'll drop a, either a link to that or, or probably better yet, just kind of highlight uh, in the description box below the portion about... Uh, I'll probably just highlight down below the, the portion about... Um, 
you know, development stores and, and kind of what this means. But uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. I've seen a lot of people on like Reddit and forums like, hey, I'll build you a free Shopify store. And people are kind of just slapping together a, a free uh, template, you know, probably takes them 15 minutes, give the store to somebody. And if that person actually uh, winds up continuing with the store and running the store, um, and paying you twenty nine dollars a month, they're going to get their affiliate commission. So, uh, you know, not, nothing wrong with it. I think it's kind of cool. You know, they provide a little bit of value to somebody who maybe can't get a store going on their own, and in return, it's it's a big if. I imagine most of those stores, you know, fizzle out and, and don't go anywhere. Uh, but if that person winds up running a successful Shopify store uh, for at least a year, um, if you continue working with them potentially for eternity, uh, you're going to get a cut of their uh, their Shopify affiliate money, or you're going to get a cut of uh, their monthly fee, um, and you know if that store really takes off and they wind up becoming a, a Shopify, what's that called? The what's a thousand dollar a month program called? Is it Shopify Pro or Shopify Premium, whatever it is? If they wind up doing one of those, it could be you know small chance of that happening, but it could be uh, some some pretty attractive affiliate commissions. Uh, you might see a lot of other people offering unlimited or forever Shopify trials. Uh, anybody offering a, a Shopify trial forever uh, was doing the development store thing. Uh, so a lot of people kind of trying to get their affiliate hustle on doing that. Um, and, and I was actually kind of using development stores. I use them for a couple clients. Another thing I was using uh, development stores personally is, is uh, you know, like clothing brands, lifestyle brands, apparel brands. I was, uh, you know, some of them take off, some of them don't. Um, I was just kind of testing concepts. You know, what if we started like a paddleboarding brand? Um, and you know, very low barrier to entry. It doesn't take a lot of money. You don't need any inventory. Do something with Printful or whatever else. Um, so I'd set up a paddleboard one and, and you know, maybe run a few bucks in ads or try to get some social media stuff going. If it takes off, cool. If it doesn't, you know, so be it. Throw it to the side. Uh, so I was doing a lot of that. Uh, a project that I'm working on right now, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to continue this with kind of this new policy. Um, I was trying to use Shopify to build affiliate sites. Um, and then kind of the end goal was, uh, you know, because Shopify, if you can do it on a development store, because mine's an affiliate site, I'm never actually going to make that 50 uh, sales because I, I don't even have a shopping cart set up. I'm not even selling project products. I'm just forwarding people on to, um, forwarding people on to, you know, the, the affiliate, uh, companies that I'm working for. So, uh, in essence, theoretically, I could have a free store forever. Uh, so kind of my idea there, I was kind of just doing it as an, an, as an experiment with one store. Uh, but I was trying to set up uh, a Shopify or a, an affiliate website using Shopify. And if it was profitable, I might have kept it for myself forever. If it was really profitable, I might have actually looked into buying inventory, you know, rather than making, I was getting pretty good commissions, right? I'm getting 25% commissions from this particular affiliate, uh, which, which is pretty generous for not having to deal with the payment processing or shipping anything out. Uh, but this is like a really high margin product. So I'd probably be looking at like 80% uh, margins if I actually sold the product on my own. It's a product that would fall probably outside of what Shopify payments will accept. Uh, so I would have to go find my own processor processor and other things that would probably wind up being a little bit of a headache. Uh, but that was another, you know, I just kind of keep my options open. That was another opportunity. If this store really takes off, um, I might look into sourcing this product myself and selling it myself. More than likely what I would probably do is, is get it making some affiliate money, make some affiliate money. Um, and then try to put it on the Shopify exchange or Flippa uh, or maybe even Empire Flippers and try to sell the business to somebody else who wants to actually stock inventory and, and run an e-com business. So um, that may have kind of hampered my plans. I might wind up having to move that project over to WordPress. Um, I was thinking about doing kind of two sister pro product projects, you know, same niche and everything, a uh, little bit of a different branding. And I was going to do one on Shopify, one on WordPress and, and kind of see which one wound up kind of ranking better and, and doing better. But uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I'm kind of curious to hear from you guys. How many of you guys are, are using development stores? What are you using development stores for? Um, did you hear about this policy or if you didn't hear about this policy, is this kind of going to uh, going to affect you? Um, and, and kind of your hustles and what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, I saw that, I mean, it's pretty big news. I don't know how many of you guys are using Shopify uh, development stores, but anybody who is, um, I, I think this is definitely kind, kind of gonna, going to uh, affect you and your business. So let me know your thoughts on this. Drop a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys, later.